Friends, I am in Louisville, Kentucky, and you see this is the corner of Ashland and Beaver Street. And Elvis's grandfather, Vernon's dad, Jesse, lived in that house right there, 4008. And it's said that Elvis, in November of 1956, played here at the armory. And the next day on Monday, when he got his check for playing there, he came here and presented his grandfather with a 57 model Ford Crown Victoria and other gifts and even wrote him a note. There's a handwritten note and I don't know if that note happened at this time, but I think it did. But this is the house that Jesse lived in with his new wife. He divorced Minnie Mae and moved to Louisville and he was a carpenter by trade, but he worked as a night watchman at the local Pepsi-Cola plant here in Louisville. So I'm going to be driving around finding things related to Jesse and related to Elvis being in Louisville. Stay tuned. All right, this is an aerial view of Jesse's house. We're going to fly over to it. And I wanted to show you this because can you imagine right here in this house, right here, I'm going to put an arrow over it in a moment so you can see which house it is. Elvis coming here with a brand new car for his grandfather with a brand new color TV in the trunk. Of course, it may not have been color at that time, but a brand new TV in the trunk and even $100 for his step-grandmother in that house pulling up and a crowd gathering outside on the street. They said that a crowd gathered and watched this happen. It happened right there. Can you imagine being there and witnessing that? It would be incredible. This is what the neighborhood looks like today. Just kind of a circle around. I love imagining what it looked like back then with the cars from the 50s. Pretty darn cool. So we're sitting in front of Jesse's house right here. And they say that he worked at the local Pepsi plant, which is 4010 Crittenden Drive, if it's the same place. They said it was close, and it is, 1.8 miles. So we're gonna go there now. Stay tuned. Imagine Jesse driving that brand new Crown Victoria that his grandson gave him to go down here and work as a night watchman at the Pepsi plant. Crittenden Drive is Crittenden, it's hard to say, Crittenden, Crittenden, it's not an easy thing to say, but the Pepsi plant is on my left, let me slide over, it is right there, and that looks like from that time period, so I would say this is definitely the building, but it's definitely Pepsi Cola. I'm gonna see if I could see a date on this building. Well, you know, look at there. It's dedicated May of 1959. So he worked here, but he could have been working here when the building was being built, May of 1959. Elvis gave him the car in November of 1956. But they said that the plant was close to Elvis's granddad's house. And this is very close to the house, and wow, it is loud around here. So Elvis' grandfather and step-grandmother lived in 1417, right there, Oakwood. They lived in that little house for a period of time. And you can see it's kind of like a duplex. I would get out, but boy, this is a rough neighborhood. So it's this right here, 1417, this side. They lived there for a period of time, and it looks like a split, like they took the house and split it in two. Then they lived at another house. We're going to go, I'm going to follow the GPS. You see, it's telling me to turn right. Now, the house that they lived in when Elvis gave him the car is to the left, closer to the highway. So they lived at three different addresses here in Louisville. The last address, the Beaver Street address, he lived until he passed away. Let's scoot down here and see it. It's not far. Boy, I was trying to, to film on the down low and there's people everywhere on that street. Most neighborhoods I roll up in, you get out and there's not a soul around. But you just never know. Sunday morning, those folks should be in church. I would be. 
if I wasn't out doing this. So Haskins Avenue, they lived on Haskins. The number on Haskins was 1411. So let's see, that's 1309, so it's gonna be on my right. So ironically, they lived on the right-hand side of the street on all three houses. When you came off the main road, Beaver Street really doesn't count because it was the right-hand side, but it was the right-hand side of after another turn. So 1411 right there, this house they lived in. Naturally, there's a car behind me. I'm gonna go up and knock on the door and ask the lady if she knew. So they lived in this little house right here. So I went to the door to see if she knew that Elvis's grandfather had lived there, but I couldn't get her to the door. The front door is open, she's clearly there. I saw her, but I guess I made her nervous. But they stayed right there. It is a possibility that this is the gas station that Jesse would hang out at. And the reason I say that is they lived on Oakwood Street, which is right there. You see the back of those houses on Oakwood. So over in that area. So that is highly probable that they that he was here. So now let's go. I'm gonna go take a photo of the house and get my GPS coordinates. When I pulled up in that guy's in that gas station, it started yelling at me. He has a recording that tells you to to leave. It's pretty crazy. It was a rough neighborhood, clearly. So friends, this is Woodland Avenue and South 22nd Street. This building right here, and you can see that there's a bridge going across. It looks like a uh, railroad type bridge, and there's a building here. This was Mingle Furniture. They started in the 1800s uh, growing wood, growing trees, and harvesting it. And they started manufacturing furniture. This furniture that they manufactured, I think, if you start looking on eBay and stuff, the old furniture that they manufactured has some, some value to it. It's historical stuff. Elvis's grandfather, Jesse, was a carpenter by trade. He worked here. I believe that he worked here as a carpenter, but he was getting up in age. He worked at another place as a carpenter, both furniture places, and then went on to work for Pepsi as a guard. I think he had gotten to the point where his age probably inhibited him from being able to uh, work quite so hard like it would be working in a plant like this, as you could imagine. So this is another vantage point where Jesse worked. Made a lot of furniture there. And this is Ninth Street South, Louisville, Kentucky. I believe the building number was 545 from memory. So can you imagine Jesse Presley working here? And he was only here a year or two before 1956 when Elvis got really famous. So he would have worked here prior to Elvis's major fame. And I shouldn't say that. He could have been working here honestly when uh, Elvis gave him the car either here or the other place because the Pepsi plant was not open until 1959 so it's I don't know the years I just know that he did work here as a carpenter he worked for the furniture company as a carpenter 
and then he worked for the Pepsi company as a watchman, night watchman. So Elvis's grandfather worked right here. This used to be, you see, there's a little bit left of the sign, Columbia Mantle Company. They made fireplace mantle, mantle pieces. And Elvis's granddaddy, Jesse, worked here as a carpenter. And you can tell that this was it because there's some of the letters still left from the company. And uh, it used to say Columbia Mantle Company. You can see the CO over there. This is definitely where it was. And it's this old part of the building. For sure, you can see somebody's tried to open the door and somebody busted a window. Let's see if I can see in there. Yeah, it's, it's old and crusty as you would imagine. But I would imagine that Jesse walked through this door. It also looks like that they had a thing where they would open the door and put something in here, like maybe a desk. Since they made wood, you know, they did woodwork. I'd say that's a possibility to maybe pass out paychecks, that kind of stuff. But this is definitely the building. Now, that's new construction, newer. But this would have been 50s, prior to 50s. This company was in business 115 years. They dissolved in 1987 from my research. And I'm gonna to try to get back from here. I think it says Columbia Mantle Company up there on the tip. I'm gonna get back from this. But just think, if you have a mantelpiece that was made here, Elvis's granddaddy could have made your mantelpiece. So I'm gonna cross the road and see if we can get a wide shot. Yeah, it definitely says Columbia Mantle Company right there. This is the spot, no doubt. Jesse Presley, Vernon's father, worked here as a carpenter making mantelpieces. Through further research, I found out that they not only made mantelpieces, they also made furniture, which clearly was Jesse's forte since he worked at a furniture company before. They made this kind of stuff which Jesse evidently was a good enough carpenter to make this kind of stuff. Back then, it was all handmade. Amazing. So this is the backside of Columbia Mantle Company. Now, let's see how far Jesse had to drive home. He lived on Haskins or Taylor or Beaver Street. They're all around three and a half, see, three and a half, five, and I think I went the wrong way, and four miles. So that was relatively close to here. Let's see how long it'll take. About 15 minutes. Well, yep, 42 to 57. So that answers that question. He could have lived at any one of those three houses while he worked here. Just a few more pieces of that Elvis puzzle. If you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.